So today we're going to make some ornaments and they're actually the ice cream ornaments that I have on my tree. It was requested and I didn't come up with this myself. I did see this on Pinterest and then I just added my own little twist to it. Let's start with the supplies. So you're going to need some construction paper. You're going to need a ruler, colored pencils, scissors, wire cutters, and some wire. Uh, you can use any kind of wire. This is a floral wire. You're going to need some brushes and some small little ones too as well. Glitter, any kind of glitter that you want. And some glue, just regular white glue. Uh, you're going to need some of these styrofoam balls. I picked this up at Dollar Tree. And any color of paints that you want, whatever color you desire. You're going to need a paper plate or one of these plates, foam plates. You're going to need lots of glue sticks and a glue gun, low temperature. And then optional, if you want little pom-poms to put like a cherry on it, that's completely optional. And let's get started with this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab some construction paper. I picked this construction paper that it's a, it's, you can't really see it, it looks kind of white, but it's a light brown. And if you don't have construction paper, you can also use a paper bag. And you're gonna get your ruler, and you're gonna get your colored pencil. And I picked this coffee bean, that's the color of this colored pencil, a brown pencil. And uh, it doesn't really matter the color if you're gonna paint it. But if you're not gonna paint it, again, you just use a brown paper, construction paper, and then also a brown colored pencil. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and draw lines. So I'm gonna start just drawing lines with my ruler on my paper. What you're trying to create is kind of like um, the waffle cones, you know how they have the little, like looks like little diamonds. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And how you space them out is up to you. And oops. Let's read that one. Okay, and then just keep going all the way down. Just keep going all the way down. And then we're gonna turn it over and then do the, the lines the opposite way. You'll see what I mean. So there are the lines. You see all the lines that I created there? You start it in the little corner. Now you're gonna do the lines the opposite way. So in a slight angle, just start creating your, your lines. That's what you want to do. Now we're going to cut this paper where you created your line right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to form a cone. So what I do is I get it from the tip right here, the point, and then I'm going to turn this one inch around and just keep shaping it till I get the cone the way I want it. Right there. And then I'm gonna put some hot glue here and then glue this. Now be very careful because you can really burn yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Don't worry about this, we're gonna cut this off right now. Okay, now that it's glued, we're gonna cut the excess off. So we have our comb. Now what we're gonna do is, on these lines that we created here, 
we're gonna go ahead and just follow those lines with our glue gun. So, Once these lines dry, then you're going to go on the opposite direction and do the other lines. Okay, so there's the one that you can see all the way around. And make sure that when you're done, you take off all the little threads that the glue gun leaves behind, little stringies. Make sure you get all that out. Now again, you can skip this step if you don't want to do with the glue gun. and You can just keep it the color of the construction paper and the colored pencil. But I like the way this looks better with um, the glue gun. It, it does take a little time to do that. And now we're going to go on the opposite of the lines with the glue gun. And this isn't perfect, it's not going to be perfect, but it does look nice. This, this is a little tedious doing this, but it, it does look really nice. I like the way it looks once it's done. As you can see there, I'm going the opposite direction. And this is what your cone should look like. Now we're going to paint it. I'm using the color Light Mocha. You can use whatever color you want. So now I'm just going to go ahead and open it up and put it on the plate. And now we're just going to start to paint it. Now make sure that your cone is dried with the glue so that way you can just paint right over it just like this. Now we're just going to let it dry. So once your cone has dried, as you can see it's dry now, you're going to add your styrofoam ball right on top of it like this. For this you're going to need lots of glue and you want to make it look like it's melting, your, your ice cream is melting. So this is why you need low temperature glue because it'll melt the styrofoam if you, if you use high temp and you don't want to bring your fingers as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and put it around the rim. Put some of this hot glue around the rim here. So I can hold the styrofoam ball in place. So that way it's secure in there. You're going to go around on the outside and just start to put your glue all the way around. Let it drip, it doesn't matter because that's going to be your part of your ice cream cone. And you're going to need lots of glue, lots of glue sticks. So 
now that our glue has dried, we're going to see that all the way around. We're going to paint our styrofoam and our glue. And I just have this little bottle here where I can stick my cone so I can uh, have it set up by itself while I'm painting it. So I'm using pink. I'm going to make it strawberry. This is the color that I'm using is Poodle Skirt Pink. Now that I painted the styrofoam ball, now you're going to get a smaller brush and you're going to get that glue right here, the dripping glue. You're going to paint that. Now make sure you don't get it on your cone, but you just go around carefully, take your time with that, and just start painting the glue. So now that you're done painting this, at this stage, while it's still wet, you're going to go ahead and put some glitter on there if you want it to sparkle. So I'm just going to go ahead while it's still wet and put my glitter on there. Now I'm going to set it aside to dry. The glitter that I'm using. So now we're going to use the glue. Go ahead and open your glue and put it on your plate. And then you're just going to grab a brush and start brushing on the glue all around your cone. Now just sprinkle some glitter on your cone. If your glue dries, then just go ahead and reapply some more glue. Then just follow it with the glitter. And this is what your cone should look like. So now you're going to set it to the side and let it dry. Okay, so now our cone is drying and I'm going to get some of my wire, my floral wire here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece off. I'm going to make a little loop, just like that. Actually, I'll probably make it smaller. Okay. And I'm just going to twist, twist, twist. You just want to make a little loop like this. Okay. And then, I don't need it that long, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut some of the ends off there. Because we're going to stick this in with hot glue into the middle of your cone. I'm going to put some glue right here. This is going to be what you're going to use to hang your ornament. Okay, so now I'm just going to stick it straight down. Let that dry, and if you don't want that little glue, the clear glue to um, to be noticeable, just go ahead and paint the glue that's on top pink or whatever color your cone is. Now, say you wanted to do two scoops. What you're gonna do, obviously you're not gonna put the hook in there. You're just gonna cut a piece off of the bottom of this round ball, so it's flat at the bottom, and then you would glue it onto the top, and then again, you would let some of the glue run off same way you did this one and then you would paint this one and then when then when that one was dry then you do the hook on top of that one so if you wanted to add like little sprinkles they they sell these beads they're just little beads that you make bracelets out of at the Dollar Tree and I got pink and I got blue I'm gonna use blue I'm just gonna go ahead and add blue regular white glue to the top Go ahead and press it down with my finger. 
I'm sure there's simpler ways to do this, to do these, but this is how I want to do mine. Just going up. I'm just going to go ahead and start dropping these right on the top. have to do this if you don't want to. This is what I'm doing with mine. There's lots of different ways you can do your ice cream. Okay. Now I'm going to let that dry. Now if you wanted to do a cherry on this, you can get one of those little pom-poms and kind of put it on the top. Maybe hot glue it if you want. Right on top. Just put some glue on your pom-pom. Hot glue on your pom pom. And let that dry. And if I want this to sparkle, I'm just going to go ahead and add hairspray so the glitter doesn't fall once this dries. And then I'll go ahead and put some, since the hairspray is going to be tacky, I'll go ahead and put it onto this ball and it'll stick on there. So let me let this dry and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so now as you can see it is dry and it has a lot of fallout. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and spray some hairspray on here and then since I still have some glitter on this plate here, I'm gonna go ahead and dip my cherry in there so it can get kind of glittered on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my, shake it up, I'm gonna spray my, ice cream so now I'm gonna dip my chair into this plate I had some extra glitter on here so I'm just dipping it in the plate now my cherry has glitter on it and it's all done so let me show you the other ones that I did and I'll show you one that I didn't do this to the bottom. It's just straight paper. But um, yeah, pretty simple to do. The only hard part is, is doing the glue, the hot glue on there. But other than that, everything else is pretty simple. So there you go. So here's this one here. As you can see on this one, I used brown paint, that coffee bean one. And then no sprinkles on this one. Here's the double scoops. This is the one that I did with just regular construction paper. Let me take it to the light so you can see. And on the top one, I used brown paint and then I used brown glitter on there. And there it is just with the paper. See that? I didn't do the hot glue on this one. So for Thanksgiving, I bought these gingerbread men at the Dollar Tree. I bought quite a few, and this is what it looks like. And we went ahead and we did these gingerbread men as a family activity after Thanksgiving dinner. So I wanted to share that with you. This is something that you can do with your children, and I just wanted to share very quickly how we did this. And I actually turned them into a little banner. So keep watching for this. So I just wanted to show you guys what my family was doing that night on Thanksgiving. This is what we were doing after we had our dinner. We were just having fun and putting these gingerbread men together. Now my daughter and my son-in-law and my niece took their gingerbread men home, but I kept my husband's and my two boys and mine and I created a cute little banner. And I will show you that in a minute. And here they are creating these cute little masterpieces. Puppy was really getting into it. He was designing his masterpiece here, as you can see. 
it was really nice spending quality time with my family just having fun with your loved ones you can't put a price on that I love this I hope you guys give this a try as well okay so I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do a banner with these um, gingerbread men that I picked up at the Dollar Tree and we my family and I we did some of these we decorated some of these gingerbreads on Thanksgiving and my daughter and my son-in-law took theirs I let them take theirs home but I kept mine and my husband's and my two boys and I wanted to make a banner to put it over my Christmas uh, my coffee station in this area these are just there for now but they're gonna come off uh, but I'm trying to figure out how I, how I can uh, make something like that I took out some ribbon here um, I don't know there's these ribbons different types of ribbon I don't know maybe some of this jute um, maybe some of the candies that I had made last year but anyways yeah so I don't know I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do yet we, we shall see so I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna use some of this twine here and I'm gonna use some of these little like pom-pom balls I might go get some more and maybe some different colors as well so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and glue the twine to the back of the gingerbreads and then in between I'm not gonna have a lot of space in between I might just glue some of those pom-poms on there and then make it like that it's just a little something that will remind me of my kids and my husband and you know family pretty much it would remind me of family and uh, every time I look at him it'll bring a smile to my face so it's mainly for for that reason and like again I said my I let my daughter take hers and my son-in-law but um, but this is something that I wanted to do with him for Thanksgiving and it was really nice to spend a nice quiet Thanksgiving and it was fun because we did this and you know my husband did his uh, workout one where he actually cut the gingerbread there and then my son made like a greaser one and then my other son made a superhero one and then I made like a really cutesy little one so all right let me get this together okay so I'm just showing you that I got that twine and I'm just lining it up with my table as you can see here in my table there's this line straight in the middle so I'm just going ahead and lining up my twine with that line and then I'm bringing it all the way across and I'm gonna even let some extra hang to the side okay so now I'm gonna grab my glue gun and I'm gonna go ahead and glue this gingerbread to this twine here so you're just gonna go ahead and put some glue right in the back and then you're just gonna go ahead and put it right onto your twine I'm just showing you I'm not actually doing it it's kind of hard to record and do it at the same time and then I'm also going to glue these little pom-poms right on that twine as well and you've got to be careful not to burn yourself when you do this step and then I'm just gonna grab another one of the gingerbreads and do again the, the line of glue in the back and then just glue it to the twine and I'm just gonna continue to do that with the rest I also picked up some of these pom-poms that I bought at the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna go ahead and use some of these pom-poms as well just to change up the colors just a little bit so this is what the banner looks like once it's complete it didn't fit over my coffee bar so I had to put it next to my tree but this simple banner just gingerbread men and pom-poms. I hope you like this tutorial and you get inspired and try to make one with your family. Thank you for watching guys.